so we are out checking out the LBJ State Park and there's also an LBJ National Park. They're both like right here split up by the river. So we are meeting our friends Sean and Angie from our Vision Nomadic Living. We're gonna hang out with them and check this place out. I got the scoop. Hi. There's a scoop? There's a scoop. <laughs> there's a process with this state park. So um, you have to get a driving permit in order to get back to the National Park Visitor Center where the ranch is, which is a working ranch apparently. But there's, there's uh, some activities to do here probably before we want to take that drive over to the other ranch. Okay. So um, the, the permit's free, but uh, there's some bison here and some longhorns here. Oh. Let's, go, let's go check this state yes. park out before we go over to see the presidential stuff. Nice. Okay. All right. Very cool. cool. Yeah, I was just going to go put this. Oh, nice hat, man. Thank you. <laughs> and I, you know, it was cold up in Marble Falls. I told Angie, I'm like, I'm putting pants on. Now I'm thinking, none of you see you in your shorts. I'm like, ah, shit. That's just normal for me. Look, she's got a coat on. I, yeah. well, it, it was cold. It was like 50 yeah. some degrees and that humidity, you know, it just kind of sucks into you. So you're like, oh. So we keep talking about you all the time and the girls are like, who? And then we realized, I don't think the girls have ever met you. Uh, we we met briefly when we were in Tampa. Okay. You, Are you, you sure? Yeah, just briefly. They're at your trailer. They were they were there. Okay. And, and like just, right before just, we were leaving. Just briefly. Because yeah. yeah, when you guys came to hang out, they were with their grandparents. Yeah. 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 You guys were hanging out with the. Yeah. Making a leg. <laughs> I keep saying, uh, Angie's the one that made you those those washcloths. Yeah, she's in there. I, I, she's, I said, I'm going to go put this stuff in the car, and then I'll text Dave, and we'll wait for him. And Anyway, so let me put this stuff in the truck. And okay. All right, we'll go get our pass. We'll go talk to the nice lady. And So there's Ooh. some walking thing. There's like a people doing like 100-year-old stuff in the ranch over there. And, mm -hmm. I don't know, whatever you guys want to do, and okay. we'll check it all out. Nice. Okay. Anyways. All right. should have brought my sunglasses, but when I walked out, it was like <laughs> cloudy and cruddy, oh, and I thought, no, it'll be fine. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Good. Yeah, good to see you. Hi. How are you? Don't be afraid of the camera. <laughs> oh, it's a little intimidating. I'm not afraid it of just camera. has a cat tail on. She's not afraid of camera. It's a dead cat. She hates that these are called dead cats. I know. It's crazy. Did you ever get to meet the girls? I we did, but okay. it was kind of you know it was in Tampa, Very so short. it was busy and yeah. they use the washcloths that you made. Oh, they do, cool. and so we have to remind them. Oh. And you made your washcloths. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. There's a movie in there too. Nice. A movie it's is always, it? Sure. Is it about Maverick or <laughs> Darth Vader? Do you like Maverick? Have you seen Maverick? They saw the second movie. We haven't shown them the first one. Oh. <laughs> I tried editing the first one, but I'm still having some problems with it. It's lips syncing. Like, I'm like, I have fancy editing software. I should go make a family-friendly version of a movie. So I spent hours making a Top Gun that was clean. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like the new Top Gun. I got their camera. Just last night. I don't even know why it got recommended in my feed. Okay. You might be interested. Forest pasture. That plant life that brims with an energy all of its own. Me go, going into the TV while watching Ninjago. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you. This is interesting. Think about Mexican, German, the pickled okra. Pickle, pickle. Oh, it's locked. It's locked? Oh, I want you to go look in these windows over here. So on the way over here, we saw where somebody was actually building a brand new log cabin and they were building it old school style. That would take a lot of work. Mm -hmm. 
That was it? All that for a dab? <laughs> we have a friend and he keeps dabbing every time he like he jumps across the rock and also like dab. Hey what is what do they say about daisy sour cream? A dab will do you? Dab will do ya. What about uh, Fred Flintstone? Yeah a dab will do ya. Yeah a dab will do ya. Ball moss? I just call them tree boogers. So is that biscuit or is that gravy? Oh, I see the other one standing out by some hay behind a tree. Wouldn't that just be a vine? Well, look, it's coming out of the ground. I would think it would be a root for that tree right here. Yeah, right here. Oh my goodness, there's three Kaylin got to go see a working blacksmith shop recently. Well, we all did. Yep. Look, Kaylin, back there is where they get the, the heat generated. See all their tools, all their pliers? We got to learn how they make those. That's why you call a cookie. Hello. Hi. Okay, you want to pet it? Soft. It has horns growing up. It does, even though it's a, little, a young one. Ooh, are you thirsty? He's a cute boy. Mm hmm, you thirsty? There was a time when we raised a couple. We had half an acre pasture behind our house. And Angie's good friends had a dairy farm. So I'd go out there and get a young calf and and we'd stick it out there for a couple of years in our pasture. And uh, you can pet it. It was out there moving pipe in the pasture one day, and the very last one we had was looking at me, and I was looking at it, and I'm moving the pipe, and it charged me. <laughs> and I said, Did you run? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was a big boy. Up and over the fence I went, and I went in the house, and I got my ass. And I went back out there because I had to finish changing the, the pipe. And I go back out there and I'm working it and he's on the other side of the pasture and I'm doing my thing and I'm keeping an eye on him. And he came at me again and I stepped aside and I hit him as hard as I could in the head with my ass. Didn't even phase him, you know. He spun and I, I'm over the fence again. <laughs> I walked in the house and I said, call the butcher. <laughs> it's time to eat. Done with him. Wow, he was just chasing you out of his field. It was his field. Hello. Are you making a mess? Thanksgiving dinner right there. <laughs> it's, it's cleaning itself right now. Is this first your farm? Here. Yeah, this is our first right, time here. Welcome, welcome. We've got some more turkeys in the back too. we got two new ones. That we just brought in. Any chance they're gonna chase me around? Nope. No, they won't bother you at all. Okay. So we got one in shorts and one with the jacket. So you know, you know, who's cold natured? Well, he's from Utah. Oh, and you're from Utah. <laughs> I know. Hey, it was it was a bit chilly when we left Marble Falls. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> and I'm from South Dakota. Okay. Well, okay. Well, good deal. <laughs>
Yeah, t shirt and, and, and shorts and for yeah. winter in Texas. He, he's thinking about it. He's debating that he should be in shorts. I am. I could have left the jacket in the truck. Well, no, they actually they're from Texas. I I migrated. Oh, you migrated. Yeah. So I I migrated to Texas. I learned how to smoke a brisket. That's my naturalization test. There you go. There you go. So now I'm a Texan. Is it tender? Oh yeah. yeah okay. All right. Yeah, and I did it with with uh, wood, not okay. pellets. There you go. There you go. That's an all night adventure right there. They got cabbage in here, they got collard greens, they got kale, they got broccoli. So they're going to harvest the broccoli tomorrow. See that, Kira? Broccoli's right there. So this over here is cabbage. She knows vegetables. Is this cabbage? Yes. Whether it would be the flour. Oh, broccoli. Broccoli. <laughs> I see it down in there. I hear the leaves are edible too. Most people just don't eat them. It's like Lantern City. Look at all these lanterns, Kira. I already know I've been, I've been in your... You've been everywhere? No. Hey, here's, is this a nutcracker? You want to make some, what is this? Oh, it's corn. You want to grind some more corn? Mm -hmm. Here's, oh, come over here. We're grinding the corn again. Look, got to grind the corn to make the moon This is beef here. Okay. So you've got about nine months to a year on that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The kids' bed. Look at the little uh, rocking horse for the kids to ride on. That's what a child's toy looks like. Yep. Look at the teddy bear. Well, it's just worn off. It didn't look like that when the kid first got it. Do you remember when you used to make stuff like this? Yes. Yeah. I like these hallways like this. So this actually probably was the main door here. The main front door. And this is the living room, I'm guessing? It's been added. Yeah, this is the living room. There was no TVs back in these days, so... Doing something like listening to the record player, reading a book. Those What's are the kind of things they do for fun. What would you listen to? Just like the record player, they probably had opera music. They probably had band music, like trumpets and violins, pianos. That's a record. Do they still have those? Yes, those are actually the popular again. Sounded. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah. <laughs> Did y'all know that uh, vinyl records are the most popular medium right now? They're everywhere right now. Because everybody's really going digital. So instead of CDs, they got rid of CDs pretty much. And now it's vinyl. That goes. Mm -hmm. oh, I have a whole stack in my house that's you, like this. You think they're worth anything? Uh, probably not. What is it? Is that the end of it? Kaylin's watching TV, 1880s style. Oh, there's another picture. See now, imagine somebody like reading you a book while you're looking at those pictures. That would be fun for a kid in that day. It was like it's kind of like a VR set, but older. Dad, did you see the other one? Yeah. Oh, that's Old Faithful from Yellowstone. These are just outside. There's one on each side. You twist something and then it turns on. So there's the wick goes down into the oil mm -hmm. and you twist it and raises it up more. 
and you can actually increase so more wick more oil makes the light brighter oh. but you take a match and light it on fire like the lanterns we would use for camping oh okay umbrellas oh one of this way oh i haven't even been in that room yet hi hi Yeah, no, I don't want to have any kids accidentally burn their hands. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> I suppose I'm the person who gets to burn my hand, then. It's happened. Just hard at work. Accidents happen. Yes. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a learning curve. It's not every oven that, like, every surface is hot on it. So if you put your pan over here, most people just go and grab the pan. But you can't do that because the whole pan is hot. Oh, uh, yep. It's not hot anymore, but it is a habit that I got into <laughs> to never touch anything on there with my bare hands. Good habit. Oh, there's somebody yeah. rifling through our stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Grab some soap and wash your hands. If they didn't say it, we show what life was about in 1918. Which, surprise, not surprisingly, there's actually a epidemic or pandemic that happened around that time period. What year did you say? 1918. Oh yeah, the flu, the Spanish flu. Yep, yep. so when the um, pandemic started and everybody, like the agencies were requiring you to wear masks, mm -hmm. we said, well, what? And we found patterns for masks that they would have used yeah. and we just kind of adjusted them to, to make them a little bit more. Mm -hmm. It was always time period appropriate even. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was kind of good, but yeah, they were really starting to realize hygiene and how it could affect your health and how you could get sick. So, hand washing stations were something that they would like. Kids, wash your hands. You've been playing in the, you know, with the chickens, yeah. the sheep. You've been running around in the dirt. Yep. Yeah. Wash your hands before you eat. Yes. So that come, that's where it comes from. You know? Awesome. Well, surprisingly clean nowadays. <laughs> you open the gate for me. So we push it. Back. Pull. Oh. There you go. It looks like silly. And we gotta make sure it closes again so that they don't wander in to the house. Hello. Gobble gobble. It's very interesting. Like, looks how they have hair hanging down off their chest. You gonna show us your wings? I would love to see it. Oh, Kira, come look. But you were talking about that thing on their heads. His is so big it flops over to the side. What is he doing? You see how it flops over to the side of his head? That's the, this is tricky. I think this is the female. The mama. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. We're gonna put the chickens up. Oh, the chickens are like, oh! So look, he's, his head's turned blue. They can change the color. Okay, go. Come on, let's go. So you're Everybody trying to, go. You're trying to get them into that that building. Okay. <laughs> go, go, go. There we go. 
these guys are, are still pretty young and they haven't learned the routine yet. Well, okay, let's go. In you go. Yep. That way. Go. Go, go, go back. In you go. go back. Go, go. You, get out of the way. Yeah. There's one coming around. No, let's get these in and we can grab that one. Because she's using her, her skirt to corral them. Up you go. Up, up, up. In you go. Up, 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 up. Oh. Nope. It's all right. We'll catch it in a bit. You got a squeaker. He didn't like me walking around him. <laughs> All right, I got a corner. I'll get it. Hello. Wilbur's a big boy. See him back there? Yeah. So he's about 650 pounds. No, that's daddy pig, not Pepper. Long as long. Don't know, James. <laughs> At the end of this day, after we enjoyed some cheeseburgers in Johnson City, Sean and I had a terrific discussion about the legality of who needs to have a commercial driver's license to pull their RV or to drive a Class A or Class C towing something else. What, who needs that commercial driver's license? And as we were recording, it's like, oh wow, I'm about to run out of batteries. And we finished up our recording right before it died. And the entire discussion, the file was corrupted. So the whole thing was lost. So Sean and I said, we will revisit that in the future and we'll have a great discussion. Sean is a retired police officer. And so he came to me with uh, terrific questions about, you know, who should legally have a commercial driver's license. And it's been a topic I see discussed all the time on Facebook. And so we will have a video dedicated to that in the future. Hopefully Sean and I can meet up again and we can sit down and, and hash that video out because I think that, that is terrific information that more people need to know about. But anyway, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. This was the uh, one of at least three different places to visit revolving around Lyndon B. Johnson near Johnson City. Uh, I believe this was actually part of the state park. I saw some something attached where they were at the Living Farm where it talked about the state parks. I think the national park was further back. We never made there, made it there. Maybe we'll make it back this winter. It's not far from where we'll be wintering in Texas. And then uh, get to share the rest of it with you. We also do have a video of where we visited the part inside Johnson City. And I will put a link to that up here close by somewhere so that you can check that out remember that life happens even cameras powering off and corrupting your files <laughs> don't let that stop you stay fresh cheese bags <laughs>